Hi, this is Craig, and today you're going to learn about writing the song, arranging the song, recording the song from start to finish. Let's get started. So we're going to be talking about taking a song from its from its infant state, taking it to maybe full adulthood, adulthood into being a grandpa. I'm just kidding. Start to finish. So I've had a lot of people ask me how I actually do the recording process and how does it work? How do you put things together when you're doing most of it yourself and not all of it, all of it yourself? Uh, how does it work? How do you do it? I think I just said that. So there's a lot of repetition in music, so maybe that's part of it. Honestly, I'm also not used to speaking how I do everything because most of it's in my head. I don't use music for the most part. I uh, keep everything in my cranium here and whatever comes out of my body uh, is what I am uh, able to utilize and put together. So this is a piece called Kenny's Song. Uh, it was written for a friend of mine who unfortunately had an accident about 10, 12 years ago helping someone else out of the goodness of his heart and fell off a ladder and had a, a, a brain injury and, and passed away from it. Really, really sad. And when I heard the news, Kenny and I hadn't seen each other for a long time, but we were really close for a long time earlier in our lives. And I sat down and I made up this piece that sounded like this. <laughs> just came out just like that and a lot of times I think it was Graham Nash had mentioned one time in an interview that it was like sometimes songs are like taking dictation they just come out and flow through you that song had been around for a long time and I've always wanted to record it and since I finished my last album and had really restructured my entire recording process which I'm going to share with you how I do that for the technology part as well I decided to, to use this song not only to record it, share it, but to share the experience of how it evolves. So I had that basic part and a couple other parts that I reworked into another full piece of music. What's going to be added to this is going to be drums, bass, guitars, and that will be the core of it along with the piano being the main instrument. And then from that point, once we get to that point in the recording, which I don't even know what it is yet, uh, then I will add other things or maybe that'll be enough. I'm not, I'm not sure yet. But during the process of that, I'm thinking what the bass is gonna do, what the drums are going to do, and what the guitar is going to do so that I leave space for it in the piano part. Otherwise, a lot of times musicians will tend to play everything on every instrument and there's no space in the music and it becomes this cluttered sound and, and you don't even capture clarity and a lot of times the feeling goes out the window because uh, it's just, just too much. So we want to keep it simple, stupid, as they say, the KISS method. Uh, so I try and do that as much as possible, although I'm just as guilty as anybody else when they put all the parts in because I can do them all, so I should put them all in. I try not to do that. So in this piece, I know that this piano part that I will record initially will be replaced, probably. And a lot of times I record some, or write something on the piano, on the grand piano, and then I'll replace it with the digital piano because of flexibility. Uh, of being able to edit in, in the computer with software. So is, there's a fine line between do you want to be able to edit or do you want to really learn it the way it's going to be or in, but if I'm not sure, it's going to be a combination of both. So I'm not actually 100% sure I'm going to use the grand piano in the final recording or not. I would like to, but I thought first I will share the components of the song. I'm going to play through the first several pieces of it, the, the movement, I guess you could say, then a lot of it would repeat uh, in the process of recording other, other instruments. So this is the gist of it. It's not finished yet, so I may make a few mistakes here and there, but I wanted to give you the raw version of it, and it goes like this. <laughs>
that would be the first section, then it would repeat again, and the band would come in at this point. And there would be a big intro of the band sound right there. It pretty much repeats through that whole section. Second time around, it changes a little bit on this part. again but it would be more instruments added to it. Second time around once that repeats again it would come to this section again the I'm not taking too much time repeating the whole thing twice here in this part of the video. That's the gist of the song uh, in its entirety. So the next step now would be taking it into the studio after I record a full version of this along with the click track and headphones on so that I play it in time because I'm going to match a lot of other things to it. So I always have to use a click track. Click track. What's challenging on the click track is a lot of times you have it clicking in your head and if you do this enough you get used to it, especially the part where it ends and it starts slowing down here with a slow retard ending that click's still going dun, 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 click 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 and in time I swear you just learn to ignore it and you can actually do this the trick is matching all the instruments to that one instrument that's doing the Retard or the slowing down part. That's that's tricky and that that takes some doing and we'll cover that when that part comes because it's hard to hit the drums and the and the bass everything right in time but I'm going to show you some recording techniques that will allow it to be squeaky tight when it's all said and done based upon how you do it in using the computer software. So that's the gist of Kenny's song. This is our first uh, video on the gist of the song. If you're interested in the theory and the writing and pieces like that, I'm always available to talk to you about that. I'm also available on a consulting basis uh, if you're interested in on getting some help doing this on your own. These videos are really geared towards just giving you some information to help you put together tracks that you may be working on, how you're writing songs. I have written thousands of songs and recorded thousands of things throughout my career. I'm not one of those guys that has Grammys all over the walls and all the hit records. I wish I did. I came so close so many times. But I'm one of those so close so many times guys that is 99% of us out there. Not everyone is a rock star, even though in our minds we still are, <laughs> including me. But this is my uh, attempt of helping you, sharing something special, and particularly because it's for a, a dear friend of mine that's no longer with us. So I hope you enjoyed this first section. And I look forward to sharing the next section when we take the finished piece that I'll record on the piano into the studio and showing you the next step in the process. Thanks for hanging out. Make sure you subscribe if this is the first time. So I hope that you're enjoying yourself. And this is the first shot of me doing this type of course. So I'm a little, little raw here, but that's part of the experience. It's real stuff and so is the music. So take care. We'll talk to you soon next time around. Hope you have a great day.